I am actually very nervous right now, so if my accent get a little thick, bear with me, okay? <laughs> um, my name is Kalmi Prime. I grew up in the church and have been there all my life. Though I am thankful to my grandma and my parents for bringing me, for bringing me up in the church, but I come to understand that being in there did not make me a Christian, but a self-righteous hypocrite. I confessed to be a Christian, but n had no fear of the Creator, the fear of the one who can kill the body and the soul in hell. I was very involved in my previous church, but everything I did was, not for, was for my own glory, and not even aware that God will not share His glory with anyone. See, I lived for the praise of men. I did countless wicked things behind closed doors, and the things I didn't do, it wasn't because that God said no. It was just because I was worrying about what other people would think of me. I broke God's law repeatedly and hoping that no one would never find out, for I feared men and not Almighty God. You see, I had two separate lives. The one everyone sees and prays me for, and the other way I indulge in my sins. I was deceived to think that I was a Christian, that I was a child of God. But God in His mercy um, reached in there and somehow brought me to Cornerstone to my sister and my brother-in-law where I heard the clear preaching of the Word of God because faith does comes by hearing. And then if you're not hearing the right word, then you have a false faith. See, that caused me, after hearing the, the true Word of God, that caused me to question my salvation. I soon came to realize that I was lost and I was in need of a savior. God made me understand my need for the righteousness of Christ because mine wasn't taking me anywhere but straight to hell. Today, I am thankful to God for bringing life into a dead corpse like me. Through the sacrifice of Christ on the cross, he made me his own. He opened up my eyes and caused me to see my need for him. I thank him for the cross for the blood of Christ. I thank Christ for his perfect obedience to the Father, for taking the wrath that was due to me. I thank him for leaving his throne and coming to die for a wicked sinner like me. Because of his perfect sacrifice and obedience to the Father, now I can say, it is no longer I who live, but it is Christ who lives in me.